there are two kinds of witnesses. The first kind is the people around you. The second one is yourself. When others become your witness, you develop personality or ego. When you become your own witness, you develop self-awareness and individuality. When you know that you are being watched by others, you become self-conscious. You experience the fear of being watched and judged. You worry that others may not like you or appreciate you. In order to win their approval, you lose your individuality and become a part of the crowd. You live for others, compromise your values and live in a constant state of anxiety that you may lose your status and your importance. When others become your witness, you become a confirmist. You repress your feelings and emotions in order to win the acceptance of others. You hide your true feelings and intentions in order to be part of the crowd. When you become your own witness, you pay attention to yourself. You observe your thoughts, actions, desires, feelings, emotions, reactions and responses in order to understand them and understand yourself. With self-observation comes self-consciousness, self-awareness. You develop your individuality. You express your emotions in order to understand them and sublimate them. So choose whom you want to be your witness. Find out for yourself what you do when you think that you are being observed by others and what you do when you are alone. Practice meditation to cultivate the witness consciousness so that you can develop your individuality, give expression to your uniqueness, fathom the depths of your own consciousness and realize who you are.